What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and this is the OnePlus 3T. This is an incremental upgrade to the OnePlus 3 and I think Marquez put it quite nicely. Think of this as the S model. So when we look at iPhones and we have the S model each year, this is kind of like that, but we are getting it after roughly about six months instead of one year as we do with Apple. Now I've actually got the review edition here, so I've got a few more bits and we'll look at those as well. And then we'll take a look at the phone itself. So let's put that to the side for just a second and see what else we get. First thing I notice here is a t-shirt. So this is a dash charged t-shirt. Shall I put it on? What do you think? Okay, I'll put it on. Got Mr. Hero with the beard. A little bit baggy, but it's all right, it's all right. What else do we get? So these are some bullet earphones. So they look pretty cool. All right, so let's have a quick look at what's in here. There we are. They look pretty cool. What else do we have? Well, there's a luggage tag, a leather luggage tag. Nice, fresh leather. There's a little note and here we have a wooden case. Ah, nice. Pretty, pretty cool as well, yeah. And as well as that, we also get this bag. So this is like a messenger bag. So go and open this up as well and have a look. Uh, not bad. There you go. Is there anything inside? Nope, just a strap. Okay, so that's that. Now let's get to the phone itself. So packaging very, very similar to what we had with the OnePlus 3. And here it is, the OnePlus 3T. Let's put that aside and we'll have a look at what else we get inside the box. So pretty similar to what we had last time, I'd assume. So quick start guide, safety information, SIM card ejector tool. Put that all away. Uh, let's see on here, a little message on here. And there's a $5 or five euro promo card in there, which you can scratch off, that's cool. Power brick, standard power brick as well as a USB type C cable. You do have dash charge on here, which is also very, very cool. And now let's go on to the phone. And this looks pretty much exactly the same as the OnePlus 3. There's only a minor difference in terms of the exterior and that's that we have this gunmetal color. So this is not something we had available before. In terms of everything else, most of it is the same in terms of the exterior. The main differences are here on the interior. So the first biggest difference is that we have the Snapdragon 821 processor in here compared to the Snapdragon 820. We still have six gigabytes of RAM, but because of the Snapdragon 821, this is gonna be the latest version here. And I believe it's clocked slightly higher than the Google Pixel as well. There's an improvement in terms of the camera. So we now have a 16 megapixel front facing camera as opposed to the eight megapixel we had last time. The rear facing camera is relatively the same. So we have 16 megapixels, although there is optical image stabilization as well as electronic image stabilization. This is something that was not there on the OnePlus 3. Now, the other significant difference, which is very, very welcome, is the fact that this has a larger battery. So we're looking at a 3,400 milliamp an hour battery compared to 3,000 milliamps on the OnePlus 3. And we still have dash charging, as it says on the T-shirt. I'm not sure if you can see it. And I know a lot of you guys wanted to see the OnePlus 3 in the charging test that I did with some of the other devices. So if you wanna see one with the OnePlus 3T, then drop that in the comment section below on which device you'd like it up against. Now, I'd assume it'd be something like the S7 Edge, which was one of the fastest. So we'll see which is the speed king in terms of charging. Now, another difference is that we have a larger storage version on the OnePlus 3T and that's 128 GB. So you've got a base of 64, on the OnePlus 3, we just had 
64. So that's definitely a nice touch. And because we don't have expandable storage on here, that is gonna be quite useful for some of you who have lots of images and video and lots of data on your smartphone. Now you are gonna be paying more for the OnePlus 3T, roughly about $40 in the US. In the UK, 70 pounds more. So this is gonna be starting at 399 pounds. The OnePlus 3 is currently about 329 pounds, although it did start at 309 pounds. So we've had quite a significant increase in price. And that is because of Brexit. So because of Brexit, the pound has been hit quite hard and imports are expensive and OnePlus have increased the price of this. So it sucks quite a bit and you are gonna be paying 70 pounds more for the OnePlus 3T compared to the OnePlus 3. So something to bear in mind, I definitely think it's worth the $40 more. Is it worth the 70 pounds more here in the UK? I don't know, drop me a comment in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. What do you think of the OnePlus 3T in general? Let me know as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful and hope you like the new office setup. Do hit that thumbs up button if you did. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe. I've got lots more content coming up on here. This is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.